another edition of the journey began with eva youtube series today's video will comprise of a short hair review then the rest of the video will comprise of major highlights of what i'll be doing for the rest of the week today is monday by the way so basically this is a weekly vlog before we continue let me take this opportunity to welcome the new members who have recently joined us guys you have shown me so much love so a warm welcome to the new members who have joined this amazing family of happy people future oriented people who are ready to become a better version of themselves on that note for those who haven't subscribed yet we are on our journey to getting to 2000 subscribers so at the end of this video please do ensure that you subscribe and join us there's a red button somewhere on the right side of the screen somewhere here click on that button then remember to put the notification button on so that you can always get notified whenever i upload new content so guys have with me the abuja extra long braids let me just bring them closer yes the abuja extra long braids which i love so much first of all because of the length yes my number one reason for choosing these braids is the length because i love my braids long so let me just show you at the back eh? this is how they look at the back so you can see when they are braided they they go up to somewhere like around your waist so if you love your braids long like i do this is the perfect choice of braids for you <laughs> Tuesday I went to the salon did my hair you see the reason why I told you guys that I love my extra long abuja braids look at the length don't I look fine I hope my salonist did justice to my hair you guys looking <laughs> okay that aside what I'd like to share with you guys is part of what I was doing yesterday Yesterday, I went to the post office to get myself a postal address under my name because I want to be responsible for my own things. Yes, it is called adulting and leveling up when you start being responsible for yourself. Yes, it feels good. It's such a nice feeling. So, you might be wondering why I went to the post office get myself a postal address under my name for the beginner content creators or content creators youtubers for that matter who are not yet monetized you need to have a valid or rather active postal address again youtube doesn't pay directly it pays through google adsense so i went to the post office to get myself a postal address under my name because i'm anticipating monetization because hey i have been working hard though so it's about time i get paid i get rewarded for my hard work so the procedure of owning a postal address here in kenya as a content creator or as a normal kenyan citizen is pretty simple what you need to do is just to walk into your local post office i believe these days it's the huduma centers where the government services have been centralized where you can get help with your national identity card if you need help with your taxes if you need help with permits that's where you'll get all that all that under one roof huduma centers have made uh, government services easily accessible under one roof so what you need to do is just to walk in there and request to be guided on the procedure of owning a postal address. Very simple. It's as simple as one, two, three. All they need is your national identity card and a photocopy of the same. So 
after that, after you present the national ID plus the photocopy, they'll just key in your details in the system. Then you'll be requested to pay a certain amount of money. Personally, I paid 1,900, I think, and 60 shillings. I'll put for you the amount on the screen. Yes, actually, owning individual postal addresses in Kenya right now is on offer. Well, if you're not the type who wants to be responsible for their own things like me, you can still bank on a family member or a friend, a colleague who has an active postal address uh, so you can use their details so that when Google sends you the Google AdSense pin, you can, they can be able to hand it over to you. It's Saturday! Yes, guys, it's finally Saturday. Yesterday, Friday was uh, just a busy work day for me, so I didn't have time to record anything for you guys. I came back to the house pretty tired. And again, there was nothing fascinating to record for you guys because it was just a normal work day for me. So today is Saturday. I'm so excited. I'm just in the house, chilling, resting. And uh, I thought... Uh, I remembered that I started a weekly vlog and I need to end it. That's why I'm recording this right now. So I hope the previous bit, which was about uh, how to go about owning a post office address under your name, especially if you are a Kenyan, was really helpful to you. Because personally, I didn't know. And now that I was able to do it successfully, I thought it wise to share it with you guys. I'm just hoping that it's gonna help someone out there who is wondering how can someone go about owning a postal address here in Kenya as an individual. So if it was helpful to you, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. So yesterday evening, I went to the supermarket and I noticed something. What did I notice, guys? I looked around at the shopping baskets of people walking around the supermarket and I could tell that people these days are only picking basics when they check into the supermarket. I did not see any single person picking on Queen cakes. I did not see anybody at the chocolate section. I could not see people picking uh, tomato sauce. All I could see was bread, not even margarine, bread, sugar, milk, salt, maize flour, <laughs> even no wheat flour. Wow. That got me concerned. People are really going through very hard economic situation this time, especially because of the pandemic. So if you're in a position to help, if you're blessed enough, kindly stretch a helping hand to a sister, be a blessing to your brother, your neighbor, even the good book says, Blessed is the hand that giveth than the hand that taketh. So if you are blessed enough, even you don't need to give much. Just the little you can give. Even if it's one bread, even if it's one packet of maize flour, that person will appreciate. You will be a blessing to someone's life. People are going through very tough times and if you are blessed enough, if you are in a position to help, I repeat again, please help out someone. If this video has been helpful to you, kindly go ahead, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, this is the time to subscribe. There's a red button somewhere on the right side of the screen. Click on it, you'll have subscribed, then put your notification button on. So that you can be notified whenever I upload new content. Before we wrap up, remember to be kind to other people. Because currently, 
people are going through so much stay safe watch my other videos for those who haven't subscribed subscribe keep commenting keep liking keep sharing my videos let's catch up in my next one guys